Hello, welcome to Arcade Mobile and it becomes much more easier. So, um, in this video, we'll be treating questions involving limits. We have a lot of concerning questions and then we compile those that are based on limits and we can tell you some of these videos. So, if you have to subscribe, make sure you click on the subscribe button to encourage us to do more. So, now we have the first question limit that extends to 3 root x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. If I apply direct substitution, meaning anywhere you see x equals 3, we find out that the method gives us 0. 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 9 gives us 0. And from the first video we did on um, the limit of function, we found out that when our denominator is 0, our answer is 1 to 5 or infinity. And that is what we do not want. And when we find this, we try and our approach. Like the the doctor's work on factorization method. I will show this question to you right now. Would the factorization method will work for this question? I would love to give you an answer in the comment section. Yes or no? Stating your reasons. Stating your reasons. So let's go ahead with the doctor's work. But before then, I will love to um, write this same equation into a more simpler form. So we have x. Because of the square root, we have 1 minus 2, this power 1 minus 2, minus 3 over x squared minus 9. So now, this equation and this equation, they are the same, they are the same thing. We just express them in different formats, which will be easier for us to um, differentiate. So, let's differentiate this. Differentiating x to the power 1 minus 2, we have 1 minus 2x, and our power will reduce by 1. Making it minus 1 over 2. The ratio the constant gives you 0 because we're going to have that. The ratio is you have x squared over 2x. The ratio the constant gives you 0. So this is what we're left with. And then we can now substitute the value of 3 into this equation. So we have to 1 over 2 times, because of this minus, we'll be introducing 1 over x raised to power of 1 over 2 yeah, because of this x because of this minus we can use it in 1 over you get it. then divided by 2x I mean, divided by 2x so let's go over we have 1 over 2 substituting times 1 over square root of 3 remember x raised to the power of 1 over 2 root x raised to the power of 1 over 2 root x which is root 3 because of substituting times 1 over 2 times 3 which is 6 so 1 times 1 times 1 equal 1 2 times 6 equal 2 and 2 times 3 is equal to 3 so this becomes our answer simple and short let's move on to the next one limit as y tends to minus 4 so now using the rest of the question we will be having to find as an answer so we have to go with another method Let's write this in the most simplified way. 1 plus 4 plus y for minus 1 over 4 plus y. So now we can now differentiate. Differentiate a constant p gives you 0. 0 plus differentiate minus 1 y for minus 1 minus 1 times 1 gives us. So we have minus y plus for minus 2 over Differentiate the constant is over here. Differentiate y is equal to 1. So we have minus y is equal to minus 2. So, which is equal to minus, because of this minus, we have 1 over y squared. Because of this minus, we should be 1 over y squared. So, let's substitute, we have equal to minus 1 over, what is our y? Gracias.